One winter evening, Henry's driver said, Well, we'll be out early tomorrow, Henry. We've got to take the flying kipper. Now, don't tell Gordon, but I think that if we pull the kipper nicely, the fat controller will let us pull the express. Henry was very excited. Oh, I say, that will be lovely. Lots of ships use the harbour at the big station by the sea. Fishing boats also come there. They unload their fish on the quay. Some of it is sent to shops in the town and some goes in a special train to other places far away. The railway men call this train the Flying Kipper. He was ready at five o'clock. There was snow and frost. Men hustled and shouted, loading the vans with crates of fish. The last door banged. The guard showed his green lamp and Henry started off. But his wheels slipped on the icy rails. Henry got cross with the vans. The vans shuddered and groaned. the train began to gather speed. Thick clouds of smoke and steam poured from Henry's funnel into the cold air and when his fireman put on more coal the fire's light shone brightly on the snow around. Henry went faster and faster. They whooshed under bridges and clattered through stations, green signal lights showing as they passed. They were going well. The light grew better, and a yellow signal appeared ahead. Henry's driver prepared to stop, but the home signal was down. All clear, Henry. Go on, away we go. They couldn't know that the points from the main line to the siding were frozen, and that the signal had been set at danger. Snow had forced it down. A goods train waited in the siding to let the flying kipper pass. The driver and the fireman were drinking cocoa in the brake van. The guard pulled out his watch and he said, Hmm, you know, the flying kipper is due. The fireman said, Who cares about the flying kipper? This is good cocoa. The driver got up and said, Hey, come on, fireman, back to our engine. But I haven't finished my cocoa yet. Then suddenly there was a terrible crash. The brake van broke, the three men shot in the air like jacks in the box and landed in the snow outside. Henry's driver and fireman jumped clear before the crash. Henry was sprawled over on his side. The fat controller came to see him. Well, Henry, what have you got to say for yourself, hmm? The signal was down, sir. Honestly, it was. Honestly. <laughs> Cheer up, Henry. It wasn't your fault. Ice and snow caused the accident. I'm sending you to Crewe, a fine place for sick engines. They'll give you a new shape and a larger firebox and then you'll feel a different engine and you won't need special coal anymore now. Won't that be nice, hmm? Oh, yes, sir. Henry liked being at Crewe, but was glad to come home. A crowd of people waited to see him arrive in his new shape. He looked so splendid and strong that they gave him three cheers. And Henry said, Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs>